Shalom everybody and greetings from Jerusalem Jane. I'm wearing two layers. I even put on a cap to just try and get a little bit of heat uh, on my head. I'm staying inside. Israel is in the midst of a winter storm named Barbara. The rain is pouring down here in Jerusalem. It's also very cold. We're down to two Celsius right now. It's very, very windy. If you're outside, you can't even hold an umbrella. So yeah, Israel is stuck by a storm uh, up north in the Mount Hermon area in the ski resort. Or uh, There are a lot of snow up there, uh, but there are strong winds. Uh, We're gonna have winds up to 60 miles per hour. That's 100 kilometers per hour. Uh, several people have been injured by trees falling and debris flying in the air. And this storm is gonna last up until Thursday. So if you are here in Israel, just take shelter, stay inside, um, stay out of the rain, stay out of the wind. Uh, just before I closed my eyes last night, there was actually massive, massive lightning and thunder. But as you can see behind me, <clears throat> I'm watching the news because as many of you also did yesterday morning, I woke up to the horrendous news of the massive, ter um, the massive, massive earthquake striking Syria and Turkey. And I think the number right now they are talking about uh, 5,000 people has been killed in this in these uh, earthquakes. There were more than one. There's been a couple and many, many aftershocks. So of course I'm sending my prayers uh, to the people in those affected areas. It's really, really bad. I think we have all seen the videos where the houses are coming down, the houses are collapsing. Uh, they are pulling out uh, people from um, the rumbles, uh, survivors and dead. It's, it's a very difficult scene. I think it was 45 countries who had offered assistance to send in rescue teams to help with the work of um, saving people out of the rubbles. And um, it's, it's a very difficult scene when we see what's going on. So one of the countries who is always out, no matter where in the world disaster strikes, is Israel. Israel offered help to the government in Turkey and also the government in Syria. The government in Syria declined, but the president of Israel, Hatzak, he spoke to the president Erdogan in Turkey and they accepted help from Israel. So 150 rescue workers has arrived now in Turkey, bringing a lot of equipment and aid. Uh, and they are already now boots on the ground, helping in the disaster areas in Turkey after these uh, major, major earthquake uh, hit that area. So thank you Israel for always be a light in the, in the darkness. Thank you Israel for always stepping up, helping. Even if it's a country that Israel doesn't have diplomatic relations or is considered a friendly country, Israel is always out offering assistance. And we know that this country has experts in many fields that most of the times are being embraced when they arrive and help around the world. So this is just Jerusalem Jane saying, that's why I'm a little bit quiet. I'm staying home, I'm staying warm while I'm watching the news, um, really staying out of the rain. It's also dangerous because of the high winds that is blowing in. So yeah, I'm staying home. Uh, I'm at the time of year where I need to gather all the right documents so I can apply for one more year of visa. So it's, a, it's quite a serious time for me. I also still have issues in my apartments. Um, I had a handyman coming doing some work last week that didn't really help. So another one had to come this week. There's been many issues. So I actually have quite a lot on my plate. Uh, that's why I'm a little bit quiet, but behind the scenes, I'm doing a lot. So stay safe wherever you are here in Israel until we are on the other side of this storm. Um, the, the, the truth is actually that we need all of this rain. The rabbis here in Israel was out encouraging people to pay for rain because up until now, the weather has been like early spring, uh, 18 Celsius, 19 Celsius. I wasn't even wearing a jacket. I was just wearing a vest 
on top of my um, top of my blouse so all of this rain now we need it it's just the problem is that it's coming so massively in a short period of times so there is also floodings um, so I, I really want to encourage you here in Israel stay safe wherever you are if you don't have to go out stay home I actually postponed uh, a dental appointment I had today and another appointment tomorrow I pushed until next week just to to stay out of this dangerous weather to all the people in uniform, we love you, uh, we pray for you, we support you, we encourage you. All the policemen, the firefighters, the soldiers, uh, the ambulance drivers who is out working in these harsh weather conditions, especially the ones who is patrolling and, and standing guard out in the cold, in the rain, in the snow, so the rest of us can be safe. Mwah! I'm sending all my love to you and warm hugs and kisses and saying we love you, we pray for you. Thank you for all you're doing for the rest of us to feel safe. If you haven't booked your tickets, book your tickets and make this year the year where you are coming and you're walking the land of the Bible and visit Israel. I promise you, you won't regret it. Bye.